Yo guys, welcome back to another video today. I'm back again with the Arc Survival Evolve glitch. Now today's we'll actually be showing you a new Crystal Isles mesh um, spot that's actually currently working right now. Now this method is actually super easy. All you're actually going to need for those, this method is obviously a GPS if you don't know where the spot is, and um, just some sleeping bags, and that's it really. And obviously you can use a tech suit or anything like that to fly around, or a Tranodon, anything of your choice really. Um, but we're actually starting off at the um, Dragon Cave, as you can see right here. So you might have to raid someone or anything to actually access this uh, mesh spot uh, and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's worth it because it's like an alpha size. Uh, but anyway, these are the coordinates right here on the screen now. And uh, this is the map location as well. Um, if you don't actually already know where the Dragon Cave is on the Crystal Isles. Um, yeah, so first of all, what you are going to do is actually come to here and just follow the path I actually do take. But first of all, what I'm just going to do is actually get some sleeping bags. Um, for this method all you will actually need is two sleeping bags if you do do the method correctly obviously if you can't access your uh, your inventory your yeah your inventory and stuff like that what you drop and leave on the floor uh, then you also have to do it again so you will possibly need more sleeping bags um, but first of all just follow where I go just go straight in for the cave as you can see right here and then um, once you actually follow follow it like all the way down um, to your left you'll actually see where the dragon actually is in like the main like hall type way um, as you'll see here now, just over this wall, you'll actually see the dragon statue, which is actually right here. Um, so this is where, like, the rat hole is based. Well, the mesh hole, sorry, not rat hole. I keep saying rat hole, um, but the mesh hole is actually like near. Um, and it's actually down these stairs, as you can see here now. So you go down the first set of stairs, and then it's actually towards your right, as you can see here. So this goes straight down the stairs, and it's actually towards your right at this like archway right here. Um, as you can see, it's just this little thing down here. Um, so, like I say, all you can want to do, uh, this is the coordinates on the screen right now, but all you are going to want to do is actually just go straight down these stairs once you actually meet the dragon statue. And at this first archway, just look to your right, and you'll actually see the little crack in the wall. And then what you guys going to want to do is actually walk in here and just jump straight down. Once you've jumped straight down, you'll actually be met with like another entrance here. Uh, make sure it's actually, you do go to the left side, where the archway basically was, because um, it's a side where you need to place a sleeping bag. Um, so what you are going to want to do is walk all the way up to the crack, and then place the sleeping bag on the opposite side of the wall. And then just place the sleeping bag down um, at this bit and obviously fast travel to the next sleeping bag, what's actually in the mesh spot, um, as you can see right here. Um, and then once you actually do load in, all you're going to want to do is actually get your bag that you would have dropped on the floor um, to get all your stuff back and stuff like that. And um, also what you are going to want to do is actually pick up the sleeping bag, obviously, if you don't want to get uh, detected and stuff like this for this mesh, uh, method. Uh, and then once you've done this, as you can see, um, you've got all this little area in here. Now, don't worry, this isn't just it. This is expand and expand and expand, basically. And um, it's just crazy how big this spot can actually be. Um, as you can see, you've got all this down here. And it carries on going all the way down there. And uh, I was going to quickly get some foundations and some cliff platforms to show you guys that you can actually build on here. Um, but first of all, what I actually do need to do is actually jump back into creative mode. Because um, it's took me out of it once I did this. Also, as you can see, because I'm not in creative mode now. Um, there's no teleportation zones in here, and there's also no kill barriers, so it will work on official as well for you guys that would be wondering about this. Um, but yeah, now this base is like alpha base, like I say, it's alpha locations, and it just expands no matter where you go, but you do have to be careful because some bits you can like walk through, and it'll put you back onto the main world, if you know what I mean, so it'll basically keep you out of the mesh because you'll walk through an invisible wall or something that should be a part of a cave and stuff like that. Um, but I'll go through that later on in the video. Um, so I'm just going to quickly get some cliff platforms to show you guys that you can also place cliff platforms down here. Um, if there's a bit where you can't actually place the foundations or it's not flat enough for foundations, you can also use the cliff platforms, which is a better idea as well. Um, as you can see right here, you can just expand all the way down here with the cliff platforms if you did actually really want to. And that's if you wanted to build in that lower area. Um, now as you can see up here, you can actually fly all the way up there as well. And um, this is where like the biggest like location is. Now you can also build like secret little hidden spots down here as well, like a vault or something. And um, you can go all the way up here like I say. And this is where it just gets insane. You can just expand it all the way down here. You can put cliff platforms, you can also put foundations on here if you really wanted to. Now do be careful as you can see here. You can place it in the holes as well here. But if you do go through this little crack where this crystal type thing is actually down below, what will happen is you will be kicked out of the mesh and stuff like that. But thank you for watching, if you like and subscribe, and you can expand all the way through the cave or outside of the mesh, like I say. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe, like I say, and comment down below if you do need help for any parts of the video or if you would like to actually request a glitchless method. And um, yeah.